All right, I want to talk to you guys about working with what's called an envelope distort. This is a really cool feature in Adobe Illustrator. It's been in Illustrator forever. And here is an example right down here. Let me copy this up here. We can take a simple shape, like a brain here, you know, <laughs> this kind of squiggly thing, take an image, a raster image that is not linked, and maybe another shape or series of shapes, and distort it to match the shape. And if you take a look here, it's pretty cool. It's actually like mapping. So this originally, this puzzle shape, I'll show you what it looked like, is mapped to the brain. So it's going to figure out, kind of, you know, do some crazy things to get it to work. So let me show you how I did it. So I got my brain drawn, really simple vector object. I'm going to place a picture. So I go to File, Place, and I'm going to grab a puzzle. This is just a Photoshop file. Now you want to make sure, you guys, that you don't link to it. You can't do this with a linked image. So I'll turn off link, click Place. There it is. Now, if it is linked, you can always click Embed to embed it. Now, you'll notice here that it's a raster image. If I zoom in, I can also see it's embedded. It's grayscale. Here's the resolution. I can use this now if I want to. Okay, so I can just go in and distort it. But I want to take this a, a step further. I want to trace this thing because we're going to do some things to it, like color it and whatever else. So I'm going to click on Live Trace right up here. And you guys don't have to trace this, this object. You can just leave it alone. It's going to trace it. Now i got a couple things I want to do here, at least one. I'm going to go to the Tracing Options, click on that, and I want to tell it to ignore white. That way it'll be see-through or transparent in the white spaces. I'll click Trace, and it looks a little better too. Cool. All right, now, I'm going to keep the brain over here. I'm going to make a copy and just stick it on top over here. I'll bring it to the front. You guys can see it's transparent, the actual puzzle. So bring it to the front. You want the shape you create to be on top of the object to be distorted. I'll select both. Come to Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Top Object. Now, there's tons of things you guys can do with this. This is just one example, but I'll choose Make with Top Object, and there we go. Check that out. That's really cool. <laughs> it's super cool. Now, the thing about the envelope itself, the envelope object, is it's made of two pieces still. you got the puzzle pieces, and you've got that brain shape. If you come up top of the Select in the Control Panel, you see there's two buttons here. We have the ability to edit the warp itself or the envelope, and edit the contents right here with this little starfish. So if we click on that. Now you'll be able to see that we can edit this thing. But if you notice here, you guys, they're linked together. So if I go in and try and edit the brain itself, it's going to have a little hard time. Even if I double click on them to go into this isolation mode and try and get in there, it's going to be a little rough. So if I go, let's say, to edit the envelope shape itself, you'll see the brain. Notice this, you guys. Let me zoom in. If I resize it, the puzzles will actually follow. But if I go to the white arrow, let's say, and I click and I start dragging some of these shapes. Check this out. Look what it does. <laughs> it's kind of cool. So it's actually distorting based on the shape. So let me undo that. Now, if you guys want to, let's say you really want to mess with the puzzle pieces or you want to mess with the shape without having the puzzle change or whatever, you can always expand this or, or um, release it. There's two options here. So if I come to Object, Envelope Distort, you're going to see that we've got Release and Expand. Now, Expand is going to commit it. That means it's going to no longer be this, um, this envelope object. It's going to become the shape that you see with a bunch of points you can edit. Release is what I want to do. That, that would mean that I get the puzzle shape back and the brain back. So if I click Release, you'll see we're back where we were. All right, let me, let me undo that. Now, if I come up top, I've got this selected. Come up top, and I go to, let's say, Edit Contents again, a little starfish. Come over here, I might be able to colorize this thing sometimes. You can see it actually, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Depending on the object or the picture or the shape or whatever you guys have, okay? Now there's also some other ob uh, things we can do here. If I click on this, you're gonna see that we've got some objects or some content up here. If I go back to edit envelope, we've got this envelope options button up here. If you click on that, it's got some things like creating what's called clipping mask or transparency. Now. You guys, if you do this the first time, by default, it's going to be clipping mask. That means, if I turn on preview, that the brain shape is going to clip basically the, uh, the shape of the puzzle. And if the puzzle doesn't fit perfectly, meaning there's like a little gap here, it's going to show white okay, or some color. So if I use clipping, clipping mask, that's cool. If you guys want, Fidelity is trying to make it so that it maps it better, I guess you could say. Uh, a lower fidelity will do a, a not as good a job, but you're going to see here that it's not going to make much difference on mine. And if you have shapes you're going to distort, you can distort the gradients, the pattern fills, whatever you guys want. By default, I think pattern fills is turned off. But anyway, this is if you're distorting 
let's say, uh, vector objects. I'm going to click OK. Now you guys can see, once again, it's nothing has changed there. Okay, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thing and put it down here. Let me move this one. Put it down here to show you. Drag it down there. There's my brain. Awesome. If I were to distort it, I could totally distort it. By the way, I actually got these extra puzzle pieces here because what I did was I took the, the envelope object and I expanded it. So just to show you real quick, click on the envelope object. I made a copy right up here. If I go up to object, you'll see another way to expand it is right here. Expanding just turns it in to the shapes, the actual shapes. So I then just went into this group and copied one of the pieces and pasted it out there. So pretty cool. So the one last thing I'm going to show you. Pretty neat. I'm going to go to File, Place, Place Another Picture. I'm going to place this CS5 logo thing that I created. Now, once again, it's got to be embedded, so you got to make sure it's, it's embedded. I'll take the brain, stick it on top. This is sweet, you guys. I'm going to select the two. Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Top Object. There we go. Now, this is what I want to talk to you about. Let me move this one out of the way. I'm going to put this down here. If you take a look at the edges, let me show you this. Take a look at the edges. You're going to see that there's white there. That's because it's set to clipping mask. If I want to make get rid of that, let's say, you want just a picture to show on the edge, I come up to the, once again, the envelope options here. You're going to see transparency. If I turn on transparency, we get rid of that. So that's cool. So that's because it's not fitting perfectly. It's doing a good job. Don't get me wrong. But anyway, there we go. You get Think of the possibilities for this. There's so much cool stuff you guys can do. Now, there are limits to it, of course, and you will find those once you start experimenting. But... This is just a great way to be able to use an, an object like this, to be able to use an envelope to store it.